Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Yet another glorious day lies ahead of our glorious nation as we look to a brighter future, as we look to a brighter tomorrow. There is a lot to get done today, though, so I will not bore you with a prolonged introduction. Just want to mention, as always, if you've been enjoying this series, if you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference to high approach content on the channel. Let's me know what y'all want to see, what y'all don't want to see. And it has a direct impact on what we do when we go about doing it. That said, folks, let's get this party started, shall we? The first thing I actually want to uh, discuss right off the bat is an answer that I got to one of my questions that I feel like, uh, well, based on some of the comments, actually, some of you might have asked as well, uh, given the right circumstances of the question coming up. But <laughs> the question was with regards to uh, the, uh, the the change of rubles, like, you know, like pennies for pounds, you know, cents for dollars, what was it for rubles, I'd asked, and many of you had come through with an answer. Uh, Kopec and variants of Kopec seems to be the, uh, the, the, the answer there, so thank you very much. Again, when I say I read all the comments, I mean I read all of the comments. Even if I didn't get a chance to, like, respond to them or, or you know, leave likes or, or what have you, I have, you can rest assured, uh, read all of the comments and, uh, and I've, I've sort of kept them in mind with regards to things that I may have missed or things that y'all might be suggesting or, or, uh, you know, providing tips for and things like that. So do please keep those comments coming, folks. They do make a very big difference. They do really uh, uh, not just highlight things that I might have missed or I might have forgotten, but, uh, you know, provide answers to questions. They also uh, let me know what y'all are interested in. Let me know what y'all would like to see next in a playthrough or on the channel as a whole. Uh, all sorts of good stuff. So yeah, <laughs> keep those likes and comments coming for real. But yes, thank you for the answer as well. Kopec. It, 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 I am familiar with the term. Uh, like when I read it, I was like, oh, I know this word. Yeah, I know the, I know this answer. Uh, but at the time, when I asked it, I had I had completely no idea. Never in a million years would I have guessed that it was Kopec. But having seen the word written now, I was like, oh yes, of course. Of course. Um, so, but thank you. Thank you for that. Um, all right, so there's a couple of things to, uh, to take care of. One was that we have a couple of people over here who were being told where to go to work. I was sending them uh, to this bus stop and, and hoping to use that uh, as a way to, uh, to get more people coming up over here. But I've now turned that off as just an experiment, just to see if that makes any difference. I, I don't know if it'll help or if it'll hurt, but we'll find out soon enough. Because, you know, as you might recall, we're having some trouble getting people over to these uh, mines. Now, with that said, we did, I believe, manage to process our first, like, ton of uranium oxide or something recently. Uh, so that's all well and good. We'll see where that goes. But we definitely need to do something about the workers over here. We are uh, maybe going to look to expanding... Uh, smaller nets, maybe establish some more buildings down over here, or or we might, uh, again, establish more over here. This is something that I really need to pick up the pace on, I think, uh, but there's just so much other stuff going on, uh, primarily as it pertains especially to, well, our uh, employment situation, right? And that's something I've been trying to tackle for the last little while. I feel like we've made a bit of a dent in it. It's hard to tell, though. It's hard to tell because, uh, uh, you know, the construction uh, is obviously helping a fair bit with regards to keeping people busy, but we'll, we'll find, oh my god, look at this mess. Uh, we'll, we'll find out soon enough, I suppose, um, with regards to how much of a difference they actually make as far as giving people jobs, but you'll see really quickly over here, if we take a look at the, uh, uh, where, which one is it? I always, there we go, unemployed yesterday. Like, the numbers over here have dropped significantly, but up over here, of course, still through the roof, because they don't have jobs, they have neither construction jobs nor jobs lined up, so I gotta figure that out. We got, yeah, there's like, there's, there's too much that needs doing. I could establish more schools. Uh, I've tried establishing these guys up over here. They're not nearly topped up. So, you know, what I could do is probably get some more buses bringing people up over here. We already have a couple, but it doesn't hurt to have a few more. Uh, we have a couple of empty buses, actually. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Where 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 are you picking people up from? Um, bus, the bus station is over here. Orly. Oh, you know what? It might be that the passengers are uh, eating up space. Maybe I should get some passenger buses taking these passengers elsewhere. The students as well. I mean, quite a few of those students are being taken up over here, I would imagine, right? We've got a few uh, school buses, as it were. Maybe I should get a few more. How many buses are on this line, actually? This is the first order of business. Let's just hijack the, uh, the conversation over here. Two vehicles on this line dealing with students. Maybe we should add at least one, maybe even two more. I've got a backlog of buses over here, so let's go ahead and get these guys the right color. And we'll get them on here as well. 
Ooh, this is a very bright yellow. I don't think these guys are a bright yellow, are they? Check over here real quick. Want to make sure that we are matching. Are they more of like an orangish kind of a color? I guess school bus versus university bus is my thinking. Yellow and then orange, and then it was like that deep kind of a brownish kind of a thing for, for passenger buses, right? So let's go ahead and try and find that orange. Come on. It's not right. I wish they had like labels or something, you know? And I could just like pick between labels. I guess that was it. That first one was probably it. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. You as well. Let's go ahead and get these two onto here. Set these lines to this vehicle. Excellent. And uh, as I'm doing this, actually, I uh, am reminded about the latest... Oh, no. See, these are different colors. I guess these are also different buses. The iCar 280 versus the, uh, the Maz 203, of course. So that's why they're very different colors. But yeah, this reminds me of the latest community update that was just posted by the uh, developers with regards to the, um, uh, well, a, a few things. For one, uh, police stations and ports and, and prisons, those are still being worked on. It all sounds very interesting. Uh, criminal cases need to be investigated after they are done being investigated. Uh, only then will, uh, will a criminal be put in jail. Uh, so you need the courts to have, uh, sorry, once the investigation is done, you have a trial, which happens at the court, and once the uh, trial is done, a criminal ends up in prison. Uh, there's going to be, you know, layers of difficulty and stuff uh, applied to this whole new mechanic. It's, it's very exciting stuff. Don't know yet when it's coming, but it is coming. They are still working on it. They've put the, the new buildings on display, and, uh, and that's the next big thing they're working on, alongside a huge rework to the user interface. It's going to take some getting used to the new UI when it finally kicks in. They've shared screenshots of it. And uh, it's going to take some getting used to is all I'm going to say for now. It's very different. I'm not saying good or bad because I can't say good or bad until I've had a chance to experience it. Uh, but it is it is, it is, is different. That's for sure. It's very different. So I'm, uh, I'll be curious to see how, uh, how much more efficient uh, the new UI actually ends up being. Um, let's actually go ahead and get some passengers on, on, on buses as well. I just don't know what color to make the, the passenger vehicle. I go with blue. Blue seems to be relatively universal. Sure, let's, let's go with the blue here for these guys. Uh, get a couple of passenger vehicles, and hopefully that'll empty out this bus stop a bit and allow our uh, our workers to come here. The question is, where do I take all these passengers, right? Uh, where do I drop them off? I mean, I guess I could take them down to uh, here, because then they could go to the stadium. They could go down over here to the, uh, what is this, the city hall? Well, they wouldn't want to go to the city hall. They could go to the, oh, oh, the ballet and stuff, maybe? Yeah, they can reach down there. Well, that's not too bad. Maybe establish some more things for them to do up in this area. Sure, like a couple of gyms or something. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Are these the... Uh... Oh, see, these are the passenger... This is the passenger color. It's orange. I knew it. Okay, fine. So, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I apologize for the back and forth, folks. It, it just helps keep things organized. You know what? Actually, let's change the orange to blue. I think I prefer the blue. It's a bit more separate from the orange and yellow uh, of the school buses. Where, where are you? You are. Gotta find all these guys and make them the right color. I know it seems minor, but it, it does make a big difference in just keeping organized. I wish I'd done this since the beginning, but a lot of vehicles didn't have color options at the beginning, you know? Uh, Alright. So, this will hopefully help us out as we go ahead and start you uh, up over here. Right, that's Krasna. Pick up a bunch of people, load only passengers for this one. No tourists, only passengers. Uh, I wonder if I want to pick some up over here as well. Maybe not a bad idea. You know, if we've emptied this out. Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and load up over here as well. Only passengers, no tourists. And then head on over to here to unload only passengers, no tourists. And then what I'll, the other thing I could do is I could not just unload over here, but I could also maybe unload over here. The reason why I would do that is because then people might go shopping, right? Uh, so, sure, why don't we go ahead and, uh, just trying to figure this out. Yeah, you know what, let's go ahead and unload over here as well. We'll load two, though. We'll load two. When people are done their, uh, their shopping, we'll load them up over here. Why don't we go ahead and unload passengers here as well. See if this, like, bus loop actually makes a difference. Unload passengers here, too. And why don't we load some up over here, take them down to here, so what, they can go shopping and stuff? Maybe. I might even add another stop somewhere down the line, you know? We'll see. Uh, we'll see. Why don't we go ahead and do that? No. 
Not over there. There's no reason to pick anybody up. I just don't know what happens after people are done their groceries, you know? I, I don't know. I don't know how well this works in terms of they have a destination and they, they know not to get off the bus if their destination isn't in the area, as passengers especially, uh, is the thing. Because it says 100%. Will all the passengers just, you know, hop off at this at this station? Let's stick with this for now. Let's stick with this for now. Load. Load and unload and unload. All right, cool. So we will go ahead and view line details. Uh, we can call this the... We can call this the uh, Krasna St. Elitsburg... Passenger loop. See if that actually ends up working out for us. Accept that. Yes, please. Launch you. And let's go ahead and get the uh, other bus as well. Uh, but sorry, the other thing that is, um, apart from police uh, and courts and all that kind of stuff being uh, spoken about and all the uh, UI stuff that I mentioned as well, they also talked about how vehicle loading and unloading is about to get smarter. So if a open hull truck is picking up vehicles to drop them off at a car dealer it knows it's dropping them off at a car dealer and it's only going to pick up personal vehicles if it's going you know so it knows what to pick up based on the destination so you don't end up with ambulances at your car dealer or fire trucks at your car dealer what is going on over here okay let's move some of these guys over shall we uh because they've been they've been parked there for a very long time it's kind of silly yes it's an older fire truck but look it, it still it still checks out it still works right Get this ambulance up over here as well, perhaps. Just because just they're old doesn't mean they're bad. They've served us well for so long. What's a, what's a little bit longer? I mean, that's just silly, though. And I'm, I'm glad to hear these uh, these changes and, and, and upgrades are coming. Because they are definitely... Um, I would say they're needed. They, they, were, they, were, they were always silly, these issues. Uh, but I, I kind of like whatever. Shrug them off because it's not a big deal. But uh, I'm, I'm glad to hear they are being sorted because, uh, yeah... Awkward, uh, awkward situations from time to time. All right, this is full. All right, fair enough. All done here. I think we're good to finally hit play, and uh, and, and see what comes of all this. Let's see if the uh, the passenger movement helps us at all. What I should do really quickly is check. Um, worker was unemployed over here, near the uh, Krasna bus station over here. I mean, geez, it's like two hundred and. 50 minimum, I would say. 250 minimum, right? Almost across the board. 130s down over here. 260s at the top. I just want to see if once passengers start being emptied out. We have a thousand passengers waiting over here. A thousand passengers. I didn't even know that was possible. So of course workers can't get over here. And of course if workers can't get over here, they can't get driven up to uh, these spots, right? And that's why all these uh, buses are completely empty because... Oh... What I'm supposed to do. I really like this bus stop, though. To me, this bus stop and, and the way it works in this layout, to me, that's perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for. It works exactly as I'd hoped. Oh, and look at that. Oh, God. And look at that. Actually, that reminds me. Right. Many of you pointed out that I have uh, maybe forgotten to reestablish one of the power lines. And I'd remembered as I started this uh, episode, but then I promptly forgot. All right. where Where is my broken power line? I mean, this isn't going to make it any easier to find it. These guys, they just kind of end over here, right? Yeah, that's why there's no uh, color on these. Uh... Why am I looking at the wrong... Oh, yeah. Oh, you can barely tell that deep red. There's the yellow and stuff. Yeah, okay. So they do, they do light up in colors. These guys are not lit up. That means they're not connected. All right, cool. Thank you again for pointing that out. It had completely slipped my mind, as you can tell. And so we're going to fix that now. The question is, do I... No, you know what? I can't do these underground. These have to be above ground. Because they're so, uh... They're such, I would say, integral, uh... Connections. You know, we can't really risk... The reduced, uh, output efficiency. Are you down here? I don't know if that'll work. Let's see. Are you all the way across? Can I pull you across? Not the neatest. Oh, that ain't right. Cancel that. Cancel that. Alright, let's see. Let's get the uh, medium voltage wire. Out like so. 
There you go. Get you down and over like... Come on, building sound. There we go. So, beauty. Hook you up over here. Hook you up. Move you forward a bit first. And then hook you up over here. Beauty. Okay, for all that. There you go. Power's coming through. Oof. Not enough power. But power is coming through. Alright, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what needs doing over here. When we get the chance to. Slash the need to. Alright, cool. I am glad we've, uh, we've sorted that out, though. But yes, the other thing that's been uh, brought up is uh, what actually happens with Krasna City Hall uh, and, and where it reports from. Well, so what's going to happen is, if we take a look at Krasna, everything that's uh, it's, that's got these blue dots, that counts as Krasna. So that's where all the reporting is going to come from uh, for that uh, that uh, accounting office, that city hall. And then over here, we have St. Elitesburg. What is that? I've never seen... Oh, what was that? Uh, I've never seen this uh, cursor. Now I don't see it ever. I won't see it ever again. That's really weird. Anyway, uh, St. Elitesburg, meanwhile, is is this. So there is no overlap. There is this fine, uh, fine boundary between the uh, municipalities, I suppose you could call it. Uh, it does seem actually there's maybe a gap. I don't know. Looks like it's pretty, pretty... Uh, Pretty well defined. Uh, so St. Elitesburg will have its reporting done over here. And then up over here we have um, Studensky. Okay, Studensky, where's the name? Studensky is up over here. So yeah, those are our... Uh, oops. Ooh. Oh, interesting. The reporting happens when you click the name as well. So there's Studensky. So um, it'll give us some good information with regards to how uh, how... how stuff's all split up and, and, and where there's actual trouble versus not. By the way, I'm now once more being told that babies, and not just babies, but even students who are going to school but don't yet have their education completed, count as uh, no education. That makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. So, um, some of y'all have done the math and, and checked it out, and apparently it all checks out. So, uh, that's good to know. Uh, also, it's been pointed out that education is... Okay, so this works a little differently than I'd expected. If you can see, you can see every student needs only five hours of school time. So students will wait out and swap in based on availability of staff and teachers. Uh, and all the students will, over time, get their education. Uh, though, of course, there's more and less efficient ways to make it happen. Because they only need five hours a day. And, of course, there's 24 hours a day. Um, and, again, this is not even maximum numbers right now. So you can get quite a few students done uh, over the course of a day. Uh, through that cycling method, just as a heads up. It was something that I was thrown off by myself, and that was the uh, explanation I was given in uh, in the comments. All right, what are we looking at? Still zero passengers across the board over here. What's the deal over here? Let's take a look. All right. Looks like we're at least picking passengers up, or, or so I think. Where are my blue buses? Or did they all just abandon hope and, and leave? I think that's what happened. I don't think my blue buses have arrived just quite yet. In fact, I think these are the first of the... Why'd you pick up a tourist? Didn't I specifically say not to pick up tourists? Could have sworn. Could have sworn. Oh. What if I redo this? View line details? Oh. Uh, where is this guy? Go ahead and set the line. No, sorry. Um, your line details. And then... God, that's such a mess. <laughs> so many windows open. Set line to this vehicle. At the line level, I need to adjust the passengers. I could have just sworn. Oh, you know, there's actually a different line altogether. Okay, I need to check something here. We've got so many bus lines and stuff going on. Uh, custom lines. Krasna, Krasna. Yeah, I've got the line, I've got the loop. That's kind of funny. Yeah, it, it really tells you that my uh, my naming conventions have a pattern to them. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So these are, these are the other guys. These are the guys that only go up to here. This is running the loop. Okay. I wish you could tell how a line has done. You know how in like city skylines and stuff you can tell how a line, how many people a line has serviced in a certain amount of time? I wish you could do that here. No such luck. 
yet. Let's see, um, line details. Where are our buses? One's like down here right now, I think. Oh, I haven't launched this one yet. That would make a difference. Alright. An eye on you. And let's just see what kind of happens over here, right? Also, not often that we spend time at this uh, low level. Oh, these trucks are slowing us down, eh? Quite a bit. Oh, by the way, on the topic of trucks and open haul from earlier as well, it's been pointed out to me that yes, UF-6 is moved by containers. However, those containers are automatically made by the factory when they're ready to ship out goods. So we don't have to worry about package, uh, like container packaging. We just have to make sure we use an open hull to move the uh, the containers around. A decent speed when the traffic clears up, but uh, big when. All right, so come up over here. The Krasna. You're going to pick up. This is where you're going to get all your passengers at. What? Only two got on? What do you- what? Where do they want to go? Okay. Okay, what about this next- we got 460 or so waiting over here. 480. Orly will pick some passengers up. Only one. Okay, I don't understand this anymore. <laughs> Am I not taking them where they need to go? What to, What are your needs right now? Food, meat, culture. Hmm. Okay. Okay. But hold on, if you want food... Oh no, what's happening over here? What's happening over here? Why are we out of food? That ain't right. <laughs> There's a discovery. We got plenty of food over here. Why are these guys not uh, shipping it out? Who are we? Saint uh, over here. For cargo station. You're bringing. You're supposed to be bringing food. St. Elitesburg Road Cargo Station 2. St. Elitesburg Road Cargo Station. This is the one. Unload food, okay. Where are you loading food? You are supposed to be loading food at the road. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So, why are we not actually distributing food here? We've got a truck for it. Got food available. What's going on here? You're full of alcohol. Why are you why are you carrying alcohol when you've got nowhere to drop alcohol off? The hell? Not that we're lacking food, it's that we're lacking its distribution. Well, that's not ideal. Hmm. That's that's very much not ideal. Dropping food off from Baraharad. Yeah, because we're buying food now. That's why we should never have, like, a, a big shortage or anything, because we are importing food. It's a matter of seeing it get delivered to the right places. Hmm. Yeah, a little concerning. I mean, that would explain why people aren't getting on the bus, because they're not going to get what they need, right, on that uh, circuit. Plenty of food over here, no meat. Okay, well, this is uh, not ideal. Not what I would call ideal. However, we are seeing more people arriving up over here. So I think that little span where the uh, passenger count was uh, was low helped bring people over. 100 workers, 100 workers, cool. So what is the situation? We've got 54 tons of food up over there. We might need another distribution office, I'm thinking. What is the situation as far as employment is concerned? Up to 9,000 plus. It was down to like 8k or something, now it's up 9, 9k plus. What if we take a look at... Still extremely high numbers. Again, people from so many places are walking over to this uh, bus stop, you know what I mean? 
very possible we did make a dent somewhere, but, uh, you know, not nearly enough of one. Really establish some more stuff. What's the deal over here? All right, cool. 5,900 unemployed workers at Krasna. 5,900 unemployed. Madness. Um, see, like, are you... We've got so many, like, 270 workers without a job. We need 50 doctors over here times three shifts. Like, nothing, right? I guess that's, like, nothing. Um, what if I go ahead and establish some more stuff over here? Still some unemployment, not as much as uh, some of the other corners. I'm just wondering about, like I was saying over here, we could get some more, like, gymnasiums or something set up, right? Um, equipment for citizens. I want to look at mods instead. Sports playgrounds, let's see. Five workers, nothing. Those well, stadiums are too big. Eight, the ice rink. Big sports hall is maybe too big. Ah, no, it'll fit. Can't build it infrastructure, come on. Do this kind of a thing. Could also do maybe this kind of a thing. You know, right next to the Giant stadium. There's a big uh, sports hall, kind of like the uh, the vibe that gives. Um, sure, let's do that. Let's pop you down. Would love to do it like this, but infrastructure getting in the way. It says. What if we try this? What if we flatten like this and then rotate around and see if it won't uh, let us put it down, like that? Oh, come on. Come on. So close. There it is. Okay, so we can do that. Looks like the footpath to the bottom might not connect. It looks like it might actually. All right, pop you down like that. Yeah, there you can see it now that the blue tip is gone. Pop you down like that. Go ahead and get the road out like this. Might want to establish a few other uh, things over here though. Uh, let's go ahead and cancel this footpath. I don't like it. Oh, come on. There we go. So this one will give people access from this bus stop. So that should be, you know, I think that should be good. And then, uh, and then, and then the road, of course, for people coming in from over here who who might want access to ports or what have you. It doesn't say these guys need any, so I might, this might be overkill. Ah, no, a couple people down over here. All right, it'll help somebody. And again, this will provide some employment as well, right, while we wait for uh, some proper jobs to, to be established. Still on the lookout for more mods that provide bigger employment pools, you know? Just bigger, bigger employment pools. This guy will at least uh, uh, provide some opportunities. Increase the number of uh, workers allowed over here. Maybe I should establish another one of these. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Establish one, like, somewhere up over here or something. Right next to the schools. Oh, right next to the university is not a terrible idea. Hmm. I wouldn't do in the university. This one's also kind of, like, right next to the university itself. Up over here? Ah. More down over here. The question is where? Right next to the highway it also doesn't seem like a really good idea, I would say. Flatten the train, pop this down over here. Will people even be able to reach those, the thing? Because that's kind of the point here, is we're trying to provide jobs. 120 plus 50, that's 170, give or take, right? In the sense of, uh, it's a bit more specific as to who can do this job. A 170 times 3, that's about 500 jobs right there. We should try it. Strange spot for it. Where else are we going to put this down? I'm going to put another one down over here. We need one up top as well, I think. What's this car dealer looking like? No cars to sell right now. Some will be coming through shortly. Alright. We'll do this when the sun's uh, back up so I can actually see what I'm doing. But otherwise, things are looking alright, I guess. Population's looking good. Unemployment is... Dropping real hard now, that's promising. We have, uh... Not enough people working up over here. Look at that, there's room for so many more workers up over here. 
like our 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 minis ministerial compound was a good idea it's just a matter of getting people up there if i just disallow passengers from hanging out at the bus stop it might make all the difference we needed to really where is the closest hmm food is available here not any closer eh well i say available i use that term loosely no, they are able to come to this shop over here as well. If we, well, oh, that's from the bus stop specifically. Really, you can't get to. Hmm. Hmm. Try to get onto the main road, and unfortunately, it's too long. Cannot get to this market. Really. Huh, what if I do this? Huh, still no. Okay, what if I upgrade this? Still no. Interesting. Okay. I thought it'd be a lot easier to get to some of these markets. Quite clearly, it is not. How about... Now. There we go. That's... That's a lot better. Now, I mean, again, this, we have to make sure we're actually supplying goods over here. We are definitely having trouble with that as well. But I'm hoping that'll allow some of these people to buy stuff a bit more freely, a bit more readily, a bit more easily. As we'll find out. And I might need to replicate that to uh, some of these other spots as well. Thanks. Yikes. But I mean, I'm, I'm also hoping that that uh, availability will reduce the pressure on this bus stop from, uh, from passengers, because they'll be able to go elsewhere to get, uh, you know, whatever they need to get. Oh, okay, this time's not bad. Picking up quite a few passengers. All right, you know what? I'm curious. You're going to... You're the line, not the loop. So... Why? <laughs> why are people more interested in getting onto that bus than some of these other ones? See, this guy on the loop has got nothing. Weird. Who stops not picking anybody up? Even though they have one a drop-off point in common. Not picking anybody up. I gotta be missing something from this equation, right? You are a passenger bus. Workers, and your workers as well. Okay, cool. Intriguing. Very intriguing. Unemployment is back on the uptick, though. Not ideal. Oh, look at this jam over here. Just waiting on these vehicles to drop off the uh, resources. Yikes. Didn't think it would be this bad. I wonder if I should establish a roundabout over here. I won't be able to right now, obviously. Traffic is so far backed up. Didn't think this would be so bad. It's, it's only bad because we have all these construction vehicles in the area. That's all. All right. Let's take a look at the situation up over here now. Little workers over here. We are bringing chemicals over, I'm pretty sure. Just sworn I had, uh, yeah, ordered chemicals to be brought over and fuel to be brought over. So let's go ahead and buy some of these uh, forklifts. YL78. Just two for now. We don't we don't need the fastest movement over here. Just two for now. Go ahead and pick up chemicals over there and drop them off over here and can't over here. Why not? Because this thing is not done yet. Presumably. Let me check it out. I want to make sure before something else is wrong. Not that expensive. Okay, for all this. Because my concern is that it won't actually work. I need another... Uh... Oh, forklift garage. I have one here. That's why we have this one. To help 
this guy get uh, get stuff from there. Well, we'd have to pay for this anyway, so. Not upset. <laughs> go ahead and add, can I? No, because we can't like go in here, pick stuff up, and then take it around this bend and bring it over here. A little strange, I think, but not the end of the world. Uh, unload, right, the warehouse. I want you to load chemicals. And here, I want you to unload. All right, cool. These guys, you can move on. Over here, we need fuel as well. So why don't we go ahead to this distribution office and actually click on it and add this guy as well. And I assign more buildings, that's why. That's frustrating. Time to establish another distribution office. Uh, like what? Like so. Maybe like so. Can't really do infrastructure. Need flat terrain. Yay. Do this kind of a thing. Have it loop around. Or I could pop it down up over here. Maybe a bit more fitting. What's up over here? Sure. It's a very, um, it's a very, like, industrial part of the country, you know? Like, in its, in its layout and everything, it, it feels very austere. It feels, like, very functional. Let's put it that way. It's very functional. Not too, uh, dolled up or anything like, uh, Uprising Grad or, or any of that stuff. Get rid of all this. Get rid of you. Get rid of all this. And I actually want to take a look at... Our situation over here. Where is our bus? I want to see the bus coming up over here and not sending any workers down there. Definition of uh, insanity and all that. Uranium oxide. Needed as well. And that's going to come from this guy. And I think we'll need a truck as well to send it over to this guy, right? Because this forklift garage will pick up uranium oxide from these two spots and be able to drop them off here. Going up to this warehouse makes no difference because I don't think we can do anything there. We can't store uranium uranium oxide in the warehouse next to all the food and alcohol, unfortunately, and clothes. So it would be a truck ferrying it over to uh, to this conversion plant. Not my cleanest work, that's for sure. Not my cleanest work. Alright, how many workers are waiting at the bus stop? Now that we've removed the requirement to go to specific places, 60 workers. Okay, 60 to 70 workers when this bus is coming through. Just want to see what goes down over here. Unemployment is on the downtick again. It's 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 fluctuating, but it's fluctuating around a number that I don't quite like. I would like it to fluctuate around much lower numbers. I would like it to fluctuate around, you know, maybe the four thousands, the five thousands, something like that. Basically, half of what we're doing right now would be uh, much more appealing to me. We got over a hundred workers waiting to be picked up, hundred and ten or so. In comes the bus, and picks up how many? A full load, perhaps, just short because there weren't enough uh, workers. Fair enough. More workers are coming through, though. This bus is on its way, and let's see what it does. Because 20% um, of the workers on here are supposed to get off at this train, st at this bus station. Sorry. Well, hopefully, that's what's going to happen, and hopefully, they're all going to go. You know what? Specify this mine. They're all going to go to the uranium mine, and all the others will go. You know, from these other central bus stops to some of those other locations. Kind of the intent, so let's try and make it work that way, right? Wow, this uh, bus is slow, especially after those uh, modern, faster ones that we've got running around the, the big cities. Like, egging him on. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Alright. What are we looking at? 
So 128 workers. You come through over here, how many get off? Okay, 20. Right, fair enough. They're all headed down over here to work at the mine. The workers is not nearly enough. How many are you dropping off? From 58 down to 30, okay. Alright. People are coming through. Uranium ore is being stored and then transferred immediately over to one of these two. Who are producing uranium ore. Yes, okay, good. Good. I wonder if I shouldn't get rid of the, not the gas station, but the party at Forklift Garage, because it's already topped up, and then assign this other one, and then basically flip the script, not back and forth repeatedly, but just for now, uh, so you can get some fuel over here that will pay for all of these little constructions and actually get some of this stuff moving, right? That's probably not a bad idea. Help sort out some of these power problems and all that. Not what I meant. You. And I know I was going to do the uh, culture stuff when uh, when the sun rose and completely slipped my mind, but we'll 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 get on that. Don't worry. No unemployed in these buildings. Again, just the construction is providing so much work. Same. No unemployed in these buildings. In this building, wild. Wild. I mean, to be fair, there's nowhere for these guys to go to work. Not able to enjoy food. Hmm. The passengers should be getting up over here and being driven to a place with food. Yikes. Big yikes. This is the only thing coming our way right now. And you're coming empty-handed. How does that make any sense? I don't understand this about... Uh, this has been a recent uh, development. Are you really coming here empty-handed? Or are you going to pick stuff up? I think he's going to pick stuff up. Okay, okay. I, I might have had that wrong. Because, like, a, lo a couple of times I've noticed now that uh, vehicles are coming from distribution offices, but they're coming in uh, empty-handed. They're not, they're not carrying anything. It's just like, why? Right, this should be... Uh, this should be good though. This guy's actually going up. Using the highway. Late night trucking adventures. I don't want to watch this. Pick up the pace though. There we go. I like when all this stuff happens away from, from the traffic because it really helps uh, alleviate some of the stress on, on the rest of the city's infrastructure, you know? Love, love, love this. Absolutely love this. I hope this makes a difference because uh, definitely got some issues. Can't have people starving, you know, trying to keep trucking along, but starving to death while uh, while at it is not pleasant. Oh, this is cool. I kind of regret putting those uh, shortcut roads down because they're, they they haven't been helpful. They haven't solved the problem that we were uh, talking about. All right, you're going to come through here. You're going to pick up eight tons of food. Eight tons of food. Excellent. And you're going to get going. It's a long road is the thing. It's like, I wish we had more trucks doing this. And really, you're going to take the main roads back. You're not going to take the highway back. Interesting. That's interesting. Uh, why might that be actually? Hang on a second, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. You pop out from... From here. You turn down this way. Rather than go up this way. And get back on the highway. That would be so much faster. Like this guy is doing. I don't understand.
I mean, I get that they're going to different locations, sure, but like, is this really faster? I mean, maybe it is. Go you know, all the way down there just to U-turn, so that you could come all the way down here instead. Oh dear, <laughs> to just go this way. There's another construction vehicle slowing down my traffic. Just trying to see just where this guy's going compared to where the other guy's going. The highway user versus the not. Come down here, we got a little roundabout. Oh my god, what is this mess? Oh, right, of course. You know what? This might be what's causing a huge uh, shortage in the uh, food department. These guys getting stuck over here. Okay, so how about, what if we uh, temporarily establish a road? Hang on, hang on, hang on. This guy turned around. Where is he going? Hold on a second. Where is he going? Because he's still headed to uh, the road cargo station, but he's changed his mind. Which way are you headed now? That's cool. I've never seen that behavior before. Yeah, that makes sense. When you realize that that one side is is clogged up, just find a different way to that same location. All right. Okay, but I can see how it's like. Oh, you know what? No luck. <laughs> this thing's blocked in 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 from both directions. Who are you trying to get to? Over to here? No, over to here. Oh, I see. He's really got to come over here. You can see the slowdowns. Wow, you can really see the slowdowns. And the forklifts have got to come and, and pick it all up individually and... Oh, man. Okay. Okay, very, very interesting. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for uh, for this. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, uh, what I one thing I could do is I could establish a. Uh, oh, these guys are just clicking through now. I could establish a sort of a. Uh, what's it called? I was like, the word is escaping me right now. Like a relief, I guess, road, temporarily. That might work, or it might backfire. This kind of a thing, and that way, anybody that needs to avoid this jam over here can use this temporary dirt road. We can get rid of it later, but you can see it's already so busy. Uh, it's it's probably what uh, what we needed here, at least to a degree, right? I hope this doesn't get jammed up as well, because you can see a lot of construction vehicles using it too. They like don't don't make this worse. Okay, cool. It's to, to circumvent this or circumnavigate this uh, this area over here. Yeah, I was looking busy. I was looking real busy. Okay. All right. Employment. What are we looking at? Still in the same world. No surprise there. Okay. I gotta wait until the next uh, sunrise and establish maybe the... I don't know about that uh, late opera and, and, and ballet theater, you know? There's the sun. Up and down over here, next to the hospital, next to the schools. You know what I mean? Like, it, it feels kind of strange, doesn't it? It feels kind of strange. Do a cinema instead. Library. Hmm. Well, the theater's way too big. But the other option that doesn't send out uh, broadcast. People's theater. Again, not the most employees, but uh, it helps keep people happy, I suppose. Hmm. Well, there's, uh, there's options here. Not too many workers. And only only tourists get... Uh, oh my god, look at this thing. <laughs> only tourists get served at, uh, at these. 1,200 workers. Are you kidding me? Do I really want to put one of these down just to help solve the worker problem? Funny thing is, it's not actually going to solve it. We have 5,000 unemployed in one place alone, you know? 
house that supports 500 workers. I mean, what if I establish a tourist destination somewhere up over here? Right next to the highway. Easy access, right? Or not. <laughs> okay. Here by the Expo Center Dome. 200 workers. Again, it's 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 mainly a tourist thing. It's it's under attraction. It's mainly a tourist thing. Broadcasting we've looked at. And just establish more hospitals. Or I could establish more like hotels and stuff. Provide jobs while also providing a space for tourists to stay and then I could sell stuff to tourists, right? This hotel building over here. 70 employees. 125 in this one. This is a fancy looking one though. This is a fancy looking one. A continental. What else? What else? I don't want to establish pubs either because I don't want people to start uh, drinking more heavily either. We just get another uh, set of ministries down. Ooh. Now this is a school, 1,200 um, staff, 1,080 professors, 2,400 maximum students. This is a school. Hang on a second. How do I establish this thing? I mean, dang, it'll provide jobs, that's for sure. It looks nice right next to the highway. I could send students up to uh, this bus stop to, to, to go over here. I don't know if I'll be able to fit any hostels or anything. But this would be an interesting addition. Um, maybe. I will do the infrastructure. Yeah, you don't say. All right, let's go ahead and lower terrain. And pay for it. Don't think we'll be able to actually put it down. I don't think I'll even be able to reduce the, uh, the height of the train by that much, truth be told. It'll take way too much time on these uh, the, the rockier um, parts of the train. And and money, too, as you can see. Well, actually, you know what? It's not taking that long. Or that much money. Nah, this can't be nearly enough. This can't be nearly enough that we have to do, I mean. That just seems like a much more much more expensive and and, and, and troublesome building to, to make. Yeah, let's get over here. Alright. Industries, downtown university, I suppose. Fifty jobs, a hundred uh, students. It is an option. I got nothing. This is where I need uh I need some ideas. Get another fire station down, I suppose. Another 20 jobs. Need I need more mods or something. Um, I can only put down so many, you know, the same theaters and and and, and stuff so many times. And I guess I could establish actually another theater. These guys are not having a lot of uh, access to culture stuff. Theater of the Young Viewer, sure. 40 jobs, 500 and something uh, visitors, sure. Establish it back up over here, maybe, and the school. Very, very advanced, very high-end school. No, can't build it to infrastructure. Kills me. Maybe if I flatten the train, it'll be okay. Been like that before, so... It would follow, but it might be like that again. And lo and behold, it is. So sure, let's pop you down over... Where did it go? There's a sweet spot here somewhere. Flatten this a bit more. There we go. And find that straight line. Try that. I can't believe we just cancel the auto construction. That's my bad. Too steep of a descent, of course. Of course. Let me go over to this. Lower all that. Again, it just has to be flat and we'll be fine. Uh, height from the center. There we go. 
beauty. Paying for it makes life so much easier. Let's go ahead and establish our theater of the young viewer. The extremely young viewer. We got a kindergarten over here and everything. Come on now. We will hook this up. Not like that. Not like that at all. Gonna flatten the terrain there. Auto build to make it happen. There we go. Get rid of this nonsense. We were so close. A little bit of flattening here. A little bit of flattening somewhere over here, I thought. There we go. How about now? How about now? Come on. Come on. We're so close. Button that some. Watch, we're now overshooting the other direction. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised again. There we go. Beauty. Do not auto build. And hopefully, that will provide entertainment and employment to the people up north over here for at least some time to come. Jobs to be had for all these guys. Good. Now, how many jobs? 40 times 3. Sure, 120 jobs. That's nothing. That's like not even one of these buildings. Even our least unemployed of buildings gets like nothing from that. That's what I mean. I need some bigger... Uh, Bigger buildings that make bigger dents in our in our employment, you know? Down over here, these two buildings will certainly help, but... Not by all that much. Not by nearly enough. The city hall. Take a look. Not enough workers. See, this is the thing that also blows my mind. It's like... We definitely have... Definitely have... Definitely, sorry, have enough workers coming to the area. But just not at the right time, at the right density. Should I add another um, passenger bus or two? Are they even getting picked up? Or I don't figure this out. But hey, at least unemployment here is down from five thousand, right? Unemployment overall is down as well from what ten thousand. Population is continuing to grow. Fair enough. What's the deal up over here? Good stuff. People are coming through. Up over here, we got plenty of uranium ore, actually. All right, good stuff, good stuff, excellent. Here as well, all right, beauty, beauty. Some of the stuff needs to be built. What do we need for this? We need people making uranium oxide from the uranium ore. Okay. We got workers. Empty, eh? Basically. Basically empty. Like, well, those five people aren't going to make that much of a difference. Okay. So we'll need... Uh, we need this expansion sooner rather than later. For sure. But folks, you know what? I think that's going to have to be the uh, focus of the next session. Because this is where I'm going to call it today. Uh, we made some good progress over here. I think we've uh, established at least some forms of employment. We've got some of those passenger lines and, and, and new... Uh, work lines set up as well, which will hopefully help us actually establish these areas as hubs of uh, just activity in general. Very close to completing some of these, and hopefully, again, that'll continue to provide some employment. The thing is, not at this scale, right? We don't need 832 people working at the uh, State Opera and Ballet, so we're going to have to find new jobs for these people, and I'm just not sure uh, which ones to, like, what to pursue. I'm going to be taking a look at the mods again, like, uh, uh, like the mods as in the workshop, right? Not just the ones I have. I'll be taking a look at them again and seeing if I can't find something, uh, that, that makes for a logical next step. Um, providing jobs for the sake of jobs is weird. Uh, there was a suggestion as well to just, like, use construction as a way to provide jobs. It's not a bad idea, uh, but a lot of, uh, a lot of places in the real world do that as a way to show progress and, uh, and to show that, look, things are happening. And I don't know if I want to, uh, if I want to be rubbing shoulders with those people, you know what I mean? Uh, it, it, just like in-game and stuff as well. So something to think about, lots to think about rather. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how next time uh, goes. I'm a little concerned, again, that we've reached kind of this tipping point with regards to unemployment and, and we've run out of space as well. But then again, using these buses more efficiently might make all the difference I need. 
uh, look into buses more 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 deeply to make sure passengers are getting out of here so there's room for workers and to make sure workers are being picked up and actually taken to work sites and things like that lots to do folks but uh, i think i mean what do you all think do i focus on the employment situation again next time because it's been a bit of a scary scary situation or do i shift gears and focus on you know this situation and then deal with employment afterwards which will hopefully happen automatically as we establish more uh, places for people to actually you know live and, and be taken to work anyway folks hope you had a good time again if you had a good time you know what to do let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below as always it makes a massive difference in how i approach content on the channel lets me know what y'all want to see more or less of and lets me know what i should do more or less of as always a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis y'all keep us alive and running smoothly and of course a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching until next time that's vidanya